Okay, Land Rover Productions, Famous Pigs in a Blanket, Part Two. Part two. Okay, now the first ones are done. They just came out of the oven. As you can see. As you can see. Hold them up, Chef Two. Bring them closer with a little bit of a tilt. Very good. Now we're going to change the recipe a little bit and we're going to make a few with cheese, a few with ketchup, and a few with mustard. We're going to put them on the dough as Chef 2 gets those ingredients from the refrigerator. The ketchup, the mustard, and the pepper jack cheese is probably on the shelf. Mustard on the side. Okay, and we'll work quickly. So we'll put these delicious treats. Mmm to the side and we'll get ready to do the next set. All right, we're all set. Let me get the cheese while you oh, cut the hot dogs. Okay? Carefully and even, we want to make the hot dogs. Like we did before. And then move the dish to the side. And I'll open these up. Very good. I learned that from chef number two. Okay, now we're going to, this time, we're going to do a little bit better with those. Put those on the stove, chef two, out of the way. Very good. Now, uh, the ketchup, get them over here, get the ketchup over here. And this time, because we're using that, we're going to get the can of Pam spray carefully. Let me get it. Can you get it, Chef 2, when I'm knocking the camera down? It's over here. Ooh. Okay. This time we're going to, because we're using the other ingredients, we're going to spray the pan lightly. Just very lightly. Not too much. Not too much. We don't want it to overstick. Right. So we'll unroll the dough and the chef will take a dab of ketchup and put it on the dough and then roll the hot dog in it. That's okay. We'll keep moving quickly. We have eight minutes to go. Just a dab, not a lot. Okay, very good. I should take a hot dog. One I should hot roll dog. one hot dog. Oh, very good. Okay. You can talk. Okay. One hot dog and roll it. You want to roll it up so it's good and you want the ketchup so it really won't fall out that much. But the ketchup will be slipping out, but you don't want it to overflow. So just put a little bit. And I'll do one or two with a dab of mustard Ooh. and a hot dog. And I'll roll up. Easy. Count the hammer. And as we move along, we of course want to make sure that we Okay, put a piece of cheese in that one. Cheese. Or two. If you like them extra cheesy, you can put maybe two. One. Or that. Okay. So it looks like we got three more to go. We're going to make a special one with pepper jack cheese. Did you put ketchup in that or you just left it with cheese? Just cheese. And when you add the cheese, you could add one or two if you like extra cheesy, like shift number one said. And you could add in there ketchup or mustard or ketchup and mustard. Ooh. 
Careful. Okay, you work the hot dogs. Work the hot dogs and the cheese, whatever you do, okay? This one I'm going to put ketchup. Okay, this one's going to be pepper jack. We are cooking, so you know you don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna put the cheese on the mustard one. Okay, looking mustard. pretty good. Mm, this is our last hot dog. Okay, we got some extra ingredients left over, so we'll just make a cheese puff with the extra ingredients. With that, we'll add a ketchup. And you can do this recipe with bacon. You can do it with breakfast sausage. You can do it with pork roll. Or any other kind of meat filling or vegetable filling that you like. We prefer meat or vegetable, but we like meat better. See, we have our little puff. Okay, we'll pop it in the oven at the same temperature. And voila! We'll see what happens. Thank you for viewing our movie on how to make famous Pigs in a Blanket. A Land Rover production.